All right, we are live. Live. Hell yeah. Looks like I'm not even buffering. Damn. All right, what's up, everybody? Whew, it's Coil Class, Tuesday, 7 p.m. What is up? I hope everybody's having a good week. So Coil Class is a live show I do every Tuesday at 7 p.m. And it's basically starting off with the first coil builds to the last coil builds all in order. Just so I hit every single one of them and I could say at the end that I have a video for every single one of them. Also so that I could fill up some of these RDAs I have sitting around. I have so many RDAs and they ain't doing nothing. So I might as well put a build in every single one of them. So, today we are going to get introduced to Staggered Wire, Staggered Fuse Claptons. But there's a couple steps I want to show you before we get to there. All have to do with the Staggered Fuse Clapton. The Staggered Fuse Clapton was created by Squid Dude. Squid Dude is the creator of the Staggered Fuse Clapton. So, without Squid Dude, we may not have Staggered Fuse Claptons, at least not as soon. Um... I didn't really get to, I, I try, I want to tell you guys the originators of the coils I know. Last week's, um, the only one I know, Matrix Wire, is Own Boy OC. Own Boy OC, not to be confused with Own Boy Josh. Own Boy OC. So, what is up? I am going to get right to it. So, man, Staggering Wire is definitely something if you want to do coil building it's definitely something you're going to want to learn it's not easy um coil building is not easy for the most part um and staggering wire is one of the most important things you can learn in coil building and it's going to be one of the more difficult things so I figured I'd show start off by showing you how to parallel Clapton first, all right? Because the first Stagger Fuse Claptons were made by parallel Claptoning. That was the first way. And then people wanted to save wire, and that's where the loop method came in. So I'm going to show you both. I'm going to show you parallel Clapton. I'm going to show you something else you could do with parallel Claptons. Um... And then I'm going to show you a loop method. So we're going to do three different coils tonight. So um, you'll see what they are at the end. But um, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to start off with a basic parallel Clapton. And then we'll go from there. I, I, have, I have it all set out how I'm going to do this. I do have three pretty cool RDAs. Actually, yeah, the RDAs tonight are pretty cool. Different. Very different, but they are old school RDAs. All right. All right. So for the first parallel Clapton, I'm going to keep it big just so it's easier to see. You could use the same wire if you want. Um, it's up to you. It's totally up to you. So the first wire. I'm going to use Nichrome 24 gauge. And I'm going to use Nichrome 32 gauge. So 24 and 32 for a parallel Clapton. Just to show you how I parallel Clapton. Um, I could show you this without a swivel. Let's do it without a swivel. Let's let's do the first one without a swivel. Now, I do have a pre-recorded of half stagger and stagger fuse Clapton. So if you go to my playlist, go over to beginner tutorials, you will find in one of my just starting off videos, you will find half stagger and stagger fuse Clapton pre-recorded videos, higher quality. You know, I'm able to edit it out. It's not as long. So if you want to go that route, it's there. 
All right, all right. So let me say, let me see if I can say hi to everybody. <laughs> uh, fuck. What is up, Big G Coils, Bones the Skater? Chris Payne, Dave Monteferro, what is up? Fire and Fry, Glenn Donaldson, Jerry Lawrence, Kim Dixon, Marcos Montano, Marcius, Mr. Pebble, Nick Fenton, Rick Coon, Sicko Wicko, Those Beans, Toke 74, and Triple X Vapes. What's up, everybody? If I didn't say hi to you, what's up? You just weren't on my participants list. Um, if you are watching and not in chat, what is up? How are you? Tyler D, what's up? Celine, what is up? What is up? Oh, right. Stain, what's up? All right, so I am going to do this first one. Actually, let me pull out my old school drill. Let me show you something. Perfect pronunciation. I get them sometimes. Most of the times I don't, but sometimes I get them. Sometimes I just have me a salad. Anybody like salad? I like salad. I like ranch dressing. This is my old school drill. So we're going to use this. See how small? This is a Makita 9 volt. And it's still kicking, which is crazy because it's also seen the construction site. Look how much smaller. It's a 9 volt. So I used to use this thing for a long, long time. I can't believe the battery's actually charged right now. Okay. <clears throat> Coach Grumpy, what's up? Dionysus, what's up? KY Flavor, what's up? George, what's up? Man, coil class is in session. We got fucking full class. Present, 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 absent, present, present. Okay. I'm going to take... You don't like ranch? Uh-oh. Okay, so 24-gauge nichrome. So with nichrome... I'm just going to get a little piece off of here because I'm doing it with no swivel. So, is Chessie here? And cheesy goodness, I'm sorry. I thought Chessie was here and somebody was saying hi. So, I can, with Nichrome 24, I could stretch it straight. I don't have to twist it. So, I'm going to stretch it straight and I'm going to get out about six inches. All right. Now, let's say you don't have two spools. I do this. I do this bag method quite a bit, right? I do the, the, the two bags. I put the. We're gonna do that later. Let's say you don't have that. You have one spool of thirty-two. I I show no love for people with one spool. So let's show some love. I'm going to take the thirty-two. Arms length, all right, and I'm gonna stretch it. And I'm going to cut it. So that's about six feet, right? It depends how tall you are. Give or take six feet after I stretch it. And I'm going to do that twice. So now I'm going to have two five to six foot strands of 32. All right. I'm going to put one. On my right side and one on my left side. All right, so one's going down this way. One's going down this way. I'm going to take my 24 gauge. All right, and you know it already has a 90 bent in it because that's how I roll. All right. You're 73 feet. So, I already have a bend in it. I'm going to take both wires. 
and I'm going to wrap them around the 24 and around that bend and then I'm going to get them in the drill like so make sure that one of the one of the chuck teeth grabs all of them One on each side of my body. All right. And we want to start this off real slow. So I'm going to grab these. I'm just going to go slow. And I don't want them to overlap each other. I want them to go next to each other. All right. two strands next to each other. And you see I went over it. Back it up a bit. Now the beginning is always the hardest. In fact, if the beginning messes up like I did, don't worry about it. We'll cut it off. This is actually only enough for like a single coil anyway. You can go slow with both the wires. Looks like I might have messed up again. I got to stop. Stopping all the time. I might have to cut off this bit too. Let me just go. Every time I stop and let go. pushing down I'm supporting the wire with this finger and I'm pushing the two wires down like that Ugh. that's not a good mistake to have there Five feet of 32 was way too much. It was about two feet too much. Three foot will be all right, Kim. <laughs> Three foot would have been fine. Unless I would have did like eight inches or ten inches probably would have worked out. Okay. Now, this is how they used to do stagger fuse Clapton's at first. All right. So you can imagine how much harder it would have been. I'm going to cut these two. But I'm going to leave some on. All right. So that would be a parallel Clapton. Okay. Now. If you're going to do just a parallel Clapton, right. There would be no reason to really do it. Unless you wanted to take one of them Clapton's off. I'm actually a little messy here, but that's okay. So I'm going to take this wire and we're going to use this later. I'm going to put this aside. So just remember 2432 parallel Clapton. We're going to put this aside. I want to show you something you could do. What if you want to use a parallel Clapton for something else? Maybe something a little simpler. All right. So this is a build I used to love, absolutely love when I started off. 
what I would do is I would get, um, let's do, let's do 26 gauge stainless steel. Actually, do I want to do that? Yeah, I think I have to. I think I got to do something smaller because of the build I want to do later. I mean, I could do... Give me one second. I'm trying to think of what builds I'm doing later so I don't mess myself up here and put myself into a situation that I can't get out of. Twenty six should be fine. Let's do twenty six. Let's do twenty six. We'll get the twenty six gauge stainless steel, and I'm going to get out. Um, I only need one coil for this as well. I'm going to get out 16 inches. 16 and cut. Sixteen inches of twenty-six. I'm going to fold it in half. So I'm going to make a fuse clapton. I'm going to fold it in half, make that loop, and I'm going to just put that loop on my swivel. I'm going to use the swivel this time. It's going to be a different build. All right. I'm going to bend him down. Bend him up. I used to love doing this build, especially paralleling it next to other stuff. All right, so I got my two cores in my drill. And then I'm going to get... Two bags again. So two bags. I'm going to put. See if I would have used bag method last time, I wouldn't have wasted any wire. Instead, I wasted like four feet of 32. So I'm going to put it into the bag. 32, and then I'm going to take. Yeah, I'm going to take. 36 stainless steel so i have two different wires they're pretty close in size but not really so i'm going to take 32 and 36 32 36 one's going to go in between my legs one on the other side and i'm going to i'm going to parallel clapton this wire so i'm going to wrap it around this thing stick it out of my drill I'm going to take both these wires and carefully, because that 32 is going to want to, it's going to want to go over the 36 until you get it positioned properly. It's just so much bigger that it's going to want to. All right. Yeah, I'm all twisted up here, so let me untwist them. There. Beginning is going to be the hardest. Now with this, it's going to be all about the angle you hold it on and the tension that you're holding them. All right, so they're not quite close enough yet together. 
So we want to get these tight together. So I'm going to hold it tight. And I'm just going to go slow to start. What's up, Phil? Rock climbing gym, huh? We just built a rock climbing gym a little bit ago. So you see what's happening? 32 and 36. Now, I'm holding dog ate your homework, huh? You better have an apple. You better have an apple. I'm holding a lot of pressure on this because 32 is so strong. Twisting up. So I have these two wires. I grab them here. Make sure they're parallel. Pull down. going to be quite enough for what I need to do with this. All right, so you can see it got it got pretty twisted here. This wire did get pretty twisted because of how strong that's usually because the 32 is so strong and I was holding a lot of tension that it twisted up. Okay. What's up, Chrono? So I'm going to hold it here, put my drill in reverse, pull my drill back, and untwist this wire. And that's it. So now I have a parallel fused Clapton. A fused Clapton that's parallel fused. Gives it a pretty cool look. So we'll wrap this up and put it in something in a little bit. All right, now. So that's a couple ways to do parallel fuse. And we're going to grab that first parallel fuse. And this, this is what was hard about parallel fusing or about getting a spaced wire is taking one of these wires off. So what we're going to do, we're going to stick this 2432. This is the 2432. This is the first wire I said, remember, we're going to do something with this. We're going to stick it back into drill. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. 
that's not how they did it, is it? I'm going to cut the crap off of here. All right. And then I'm going to strip one of the wires off at the end. I should have got it off first. Ah, uh, whatever. I'll take it down by the other end. See, sometimes they would decor it starting at the drill, not starting at the end. So I'm going to get it back in my drill. And then I'm going to take one of these wires, preferably the one that's closer to the drill. Now, what I mean is... I have two wires because this is a parallel Clapton, right? Two wires. All right. So the one closer to this cut edge would be the one closer to the swivel end is what I usually say. The other one is the one closer to the drill. So this one is the one closer to the drill and i'll show you this one is the one closer to the drill i'm going to pinch this put my drill in the reverse direction and i'm going to spin actually it's good to start it like this first So I started it a bit. And you're going to take it off. Wow, this was so hard. I remember this, man. Taking, a, taking one of the parallel fuses off of a core without swivels. Wow. Because you're bending up the wire as you're doing it. What a pain in the ass this was. Oh, man. You can't just do a whole bunch. You got to keep stopping and resetting. Wow. I totally forgot how hard this was. See, if something was holding that end, I'd be good. I'd be able to put all the pressure on it. Now, I think that there is a mistake coming up, so we're going to see if it comes out. If not, oh, that's good. You would almost have to do one at a time because you didn't have swivels. But this is what you get at the end. You get your perfectly spaced 3224, right? I just took off one of the parallel Claptons. All right, so now what Mr. Squid Dude wanted to do is he wanted to add a core and then put that together. So this would be a half stagger, okay? We're going to do a half stagger. I'm going to take some more 24 gauge. All right. 
I'm going to do this whole build by hand or without a swivel. All right. You stretch the 24. I'm going to cut it the same size as this guy. I already have my bend in there. All right. So I have my two wires. One staggered and one is not. This is what I have. And the idea with a half. Um, There you go. 124 and 124.32 with the spaced. The idea with the half stagger is I want to go in all them gaps with another piece of 32 and fuse these both together. Okay. So I got both them wires. And I'm going to go and get my... 32. I'm going to leave it in the bag. All right. But you could just take all three feet since you know how much it is now. Cut it and you will have enough. But I'm just going to do this. And I'm going to wrap these two together. Both these 24s together. With the 32. And get them into the drill. You want to be very careful with the spaced wire. You don't want to Put too much movement on it or them spaces will move. All right. Now, you do want to make sure that you're going to go in the same direction as you did this Clapton. All right. So I was going in the forward. I'm going to put the drill in the forward. I need some water. Did you try without swivels, Jerry? It's hard. But we're going to go back to swivels in the next one. We're going to do a full stagger fuse clapton after this. All right. So I'll go up close in a second. I really wish this would just fucking focus. All right. So a single, a single 32. All right, pick up the drill. I'm going to start spinning, and I'm going to feed it into that space. And the beginning is going to be hard, just like always with doing builds without a swivel. It's always going to be a little hard in the beginning. You just got to guide it in there and go slow, for Christ's sakes. 32-24 is going to be a lot easier than you think. All right, we're just going to feed it in there. If you make a mistake, go in reverse and fix it. I like putting my drill on slow. Actually, pretty good view. Well, I'm working on four years, Dave, so, and I started this way.
there you go. I think I made a mistake here. So if I make a mistake, let me make sure I made a mistake. Can't see it. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I just didn't pull it tight enough. I think I made a little mistake. So what you do is you put your two fingers there. I'm pulling the wire with these fingers down here. Put my two fingers there to put pressure on there. Or actually just the one. Just the one on here. Put the drill in reverse and pull the wire. All right. And now, since you have a wrinkle in the wire, this next part is going to be hard. So just put a lot of tension on it. There's another mistake. Let's see if I can get this done faster. In fact, let me show you what the view looks like over here. It's easy to stay patient coil building when you have a bunch of nicotine next to you, you know? <clears throat> this is what's good about having a drill and no swivel, is you can bring it up to your face closer to see. At this point, I know I have a single coil, so I can just keep going until I make a mistake, and I did. So I made a mistake down here. So I could just, as, once you catch that that groove, that angle, that pressure, you could just, just like on a swivel. And then I know I have my single coil, so now whenever I make a mistake, I'm done. All right. It's twisted up. Whenever you do coils by hand, they twist just because all that pressure you're putting on it. I'm going to take my needle noses, put the drill in reverse, like this. And boom. Still a couple more twists. So all you have to do, if you have a couple more twists, is get like this. I can do it by hand a bit. All my twists are almost out. You start at the bottom. Just work your way up. Go whatever way you have to go to untwist. And I'm going to show you the entire wire to see how good it got. This was all by hand. Adam, what's up? Rick Poe, what's up? Henry's Builds. So there's the beginning where I wrapped it together and put it into the drill. It's 2432. 
see that that was like a mistake that I reversed. Um, you're going to see some wires that look wrinkled. See that right in the middle, right there. That was something I reversed. All right, this is where I was doing it quick. And then I knew I was getting towards the end and wherever I made my mistake is where I was done. Boom. No, it wasn't a force fuse. It was a parallel clapped in old school style. So I'm just going to cut off the bad stuff. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh God, it's a big old wire. All right. So we got two of our wires. Two of them. All right. Now, what we need to do. is we're going to do a stagger fuse clap and everybody so obviously with that wire um the first thing people thought with the parallel clapton is especially back then wire was way more expensive there was only like two companies that had it it was expensive so if you're wasting that much 32 every time you do one of these you need to learn a way to save wire and that's where the loop method came from all right so let's do a loop method i'm going to show you the most basic loop method i can show you i am going to use 36 gauge for this And I'm going to try to color the 36 gauge. That's the loop. So you could see what is going on. All right. So we're going to do 26 gauge for the cores. So with a stagger fuse clap, then if you're going to do a loop method with a swivel, you can only do a loop method with a swivel. You can't really do it. I mean, I'm sure there's ways, but loop methods made more for swivels. All right. I'm going to get out 16 inches because I want to do dual coil of this one. All right. 16 inches. I'm going to give myself a little more just because of my swivel loops and my drill loop and my drill bend. All right. Now. There's a new tool I want to introduce to coil players, and it's called a motherfucking bobby pin. This is a bobby pin. You can also use, if you're more manly, if you're more manly and you don't want to use a bobby pin, use a cotter pin. Use a cotter pin. And we're going to stick the bobby pin. I actually like the bobby pin because it, it, it just weighs less and it seems like it centers better in this drill. But a cotter pin does it too. All right. Actually, with a bobby pin, you kind of have to bend it a little bit for it to center because bobby pins are off-centered naturally. All right. What's up, WP Mac? I think I said hi. Okay. Bobby pin in the drill. I'm going to take my wire and bend it over the swivel. Grab both of them with the needle noses and twist the swivel. Twist it about four or five times. That's on there. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to get this end of the 26 into the bobby pin. And I'm basically going to do the same thing. I'm going to hold them two. Put my drill on slow. 
and do a couple rotations. I'm going to take this guy down and cut him. All right, so. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. We're going to do 36 gauge, right? So with a loop method, if you only have one spool, cut two pieces off, not just one. All right. So I'm going to take a piece of 36 gauge, about six inches, and I'm going to cut it. All right. So I got about a six inch piece of 36. All right, and then what people would do was just get something to weigh it down. You could get fishing weights. You could get – I use top caps. I like using top caps for this. Um, the Kennedy top cap is my favorite to use, but for 36, you need something a little heavier. You need something just a little heavier. So I guess I'm going to go and get the old mask RDA. I'm going to take the drip tip off as well. And I'm going to put the 36. I need more than 8 inches or 6 inches. I need like 8 or 10 inches. That's not going to work. I'm showing you this loop method because this was the first loop method that was out. And then there's a bunch of other loop methods you could use that I have videos for and stuff. But this is the first one I think you should learn just so you understand how it works. I'm doing things the way I'm doing them for a reason. Because of the other stuff we learned in earlier coil class videos, stuff's going to get easier and easier. And if you can learn a stagger fuse clapped in this week, and practice them then when we get to stuff like staple stagger fuse claptons it's going to be a breeze because you already know most of what to do i'm just tying knots in this so far i'm working on my fourth knot i want to get it to the point where it doesn't slide Okay, here's my 36 gauge loop. Now, I want to get this knot that I made inside of the RDA. I don't want that near my, my thing. And what I'm going to do, just so it's easier for us to see on video, is I'm just going to color it up a bit with some heat. Hopefully this works. I think it's going to. All right, I'm going to let that sit. Hopefully it colored it up. I think it did. Now, I'm going to take some 36 gauge off the spool, right off the spool. I'm going to put it into, oh, shit. I'm going to put it into this circle here. And I'm going to spin a few times. All right, so I basically just clapped in a little bit, and then I'm going to space it a bit. So I want to deliberately make spaces. Okay. Now, I want to put my spool down for a second make sure it doesn't unspool on you uh, 
Mr. Burgundy, Stephen AKM1, Super Glory, Pat, what's up? 68 people, holy shit. What's up, everybody? Fabian. Now, I'm going to take, I'm going to undo this, all right? I'm going to undo the drill and pop the bobby pin out real quick. I'm going to take my loop and put it onto the bobby pin and then put the bobby pin back in the drill okay so this is what i got going on here i got my loop hanging from my drill i got my wire right here i'm going to take this loop and i'm going to drop it into the last space that i just spaced off I'm going to go close and show you what I'm doing, but that's what I'm doing. I'm picking this up and putting it into the last space made. Okay, so that's my clapton. I'm going to grab my loop. It is colored. Oh, fuck. I'm going to drop them in. I'm so happy right now. Best day ever. All right. Now, I do want to show you one thing about loop methods. There's a couple things, actually. I like to clamp my drill to the table. If you could clamp your drill to the table, do it. If there's any way possible, you could pull... Hold on. I just grabbed my clamp belt. I just did it. Just did it before the show. All right, here's one. All right. If there's any way possible, you could pull your drill back so that your swivel's tight. Actually, my swivel's not even closed. What's up, everybody coming in? Sinan, what's up? If there's any way possible, you could pull your drill back and clamp it to your table. Do it. It's just going to help keep this wire straight. Remember, we got a weight here. So that weight is going to want to pull this wire down. It's going to want to do that. And you don't really want it to do that with space and clapton. So I'm going to tighten this. All right. Tighten that. And then I'm going to grab the spool. Now, remember, we've got that loop on here. Now, the only other thing I would tell you is with this, there's a couple things you're going to want to do. You want to stay straight and tight to that loop. You don't want to angle your wire too much because you're going to make big spaces. If you angle it too much, you're going to be going too far ahead of that loop. If you don't angle it enough, that loop's going to jump over and you're going to get no spaces. All right. Also, I like to hold my spool. If you have the same setup I'm doing where my drill's here right in front of me, I like to hold my spool down because I, I get to see that. I get to see the angle. I hold my spool damn near two feet. All right. I'm holding it. I hold it low. I hold it like down here at my knees because it gives me a lot of time to get to look at it and make adjustments as I'm going down. All right. You see my wires going back and forth. That's what I'm going to be. I'm going to be holding that angle and making sure that I make that adjustment as I go. I like holding it low. It just, it, I feel like it just works the best. All right. So we got the color is the loop. All right. It's very slightly colored. I realize that, but it's colored. And the silver is the spool. All right. I'm going to start slow. All right. I didn't angle it enough. It wants to jump over already. Okay. And it's just like anything else. Once you get it, you're going to be able to do it quickly. Um, what am I doing under the table here? 
I'm not that good yet where I could build and do that. Now, if you make mistakes, you can reverse and fix them. No big deal. view. Right, I got to speed this up. Full is below my knees right now. always mess up at the end. I think it's because of how the wire, how the core positions, but nine times out of 10, I always get a mess up at the end. I could be doing the whole thing good. I also think it is, I'm a big proponent of being square with the wire. I don't want to be, I don't want to be over here doing this. You know, I want to, I want to be fucking square with the motherfucking wire. I want to be my shoulders, boom, Wires in the middle. I want to be square. So I'm reversing back to where my spacing was good. I'm going to make sure my loop's in there. I'm going to pull my drill back, make sure that there's no slack in it. You see how it's kind of, you don't want that. Pull it back. And that's it. I don't like using a loop two times. Don't like doing it. Maybe twice, not more than twice. I feel like it's compromised. I feel like it may be thinner. I just don't like it. I don't like you doing it. But also, look, uh, you can't see that. See how it has like it, it, it caught it caught the shape of it. I don't like that because now I'm using that same exact spot. It's probably all worn down. I don't like it. In fact, let's look at it real quick. I mean, who knows? You can't see it in this macro lens. I'd have to have something that does way better. But I don't know. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Damn, 76 people. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Kana class. Um, boom. Ah, shit. I shouldn't have cut that. I'm going to put my drill in reverse. I'm going to come down here. You see this? I put my drill in reverse, all right? The reverse direction I was going. I'm gonna hold the wire there. I'm gonna spin my drill a bit. And let go, all right? And what that's going to do is it's gonna do two things. It's going to loosen up the cores, the cores. Yeah, it's gonna loosen up the the clapton wire and the core it's going to be able to move a little bit and it's going to compress and then spaces are going to get a little smaller which is good for what we're doing it's good 
Now, stagger fuse Clapton's. We're going to cut this off of the swivel down here. We're going to just take this off of the... That was the drill. That's not the swivel. We're going to take it off of the swivel, cut it off of the drill. And I'm going to show you what I got. to measure this and cut it in the middle because I need two wires. I need two wires to do a stagger fuse clapton. All right. So let me grab my mini tape measure if I could find it. Yep, here it is. And all I'm measuring, I'm measuring the space clapton. I'm not measuring the entire wire. I'm just measuring from the spaced, the spaced wire. And it looks like I got 14 and a half. So at seven and a quarter, I'm going to cut it right there. Boom. Cut. I'm going to bring him down. You could flip them. It doesn't matter if you flip them or not. I like to just bring it down. Now, something super important is, well, we'll get to that in a second. I'm going to take this guy. I don't like to touch these at all. All right. I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to bend a 90 in them. Notice how I still got my loop on there. I'm going to take this guy. And I'm going to bend a 90 in him. All right. I'm going to get my drill undone. Take the clamp off. All right. <laughs> it's not my first live broadcast, but I'll tell you that. I got quite a few. I do at least two lives a week, and that's been going on for over a year. I go live more than I do pre-recorded videos. It's just easier, you know. It's easier not to do the editing, and I get to hang out with everybody. Sorry, I'm not looking at the chat much. But coil class, that's what it is. I don't look at the chat much because I'm trying to accomplish a couple coils and get them installed. Hopefully, I could tell you the ohms of the stagger fuse Clapton's at least. So, I'm going to get both these wires into the drill, just like I always do with two wires. I bent both of them so each could get their own tooth. Ezekiel, what's up? All right, see, they each got their own tooth. Boom, boom. Now, I'm going to come down to the swivel end and the loop, the loop that was on the swivel before is going to go back on the swivel again. All right, and I think I have to introduce something else to coil class. I don't know if I ever used it in coil class anyway. Is something like mini clothes pins. Now you could use a piece of wire to wrap it together. You could use one of these hair clips. You could tell I use a lot of hair clips and that I have a daughter or one of these mini clothespins. And I'm going to take both the wires and clip them together right at the end here. Just so that the only reason I'm doing that is so that when I'm going fast, it doesn't swing and hit me in the eye and then no more coil clay. All right. That's the only reason I do that. Um, sometimes I don't do that. But I am going to do it. Um. 
Awesome pack. Glad to have you. What is up, Mr. Davis? Got a lot of people up in here tonight, man. I wonder what's going on. I almost feel like somebody gave me a shout out or something. All right. We've got it all set up. Now all we got to do is get our 36 and um, find that angle, find that tension. If you get good spacing, these will be a dream to make. It's all about the spacing. Stagger fuse Clapton's, you make or break it during the spacing. If you have good spacing, you could fly down these. If you have bad spacing, it's going to take you a while, and it's probably not going to look great. So I wrapped my 36 around there. I got my spool. And the same thing, I like to hold it low. All right? I like to hold my spool low so I can catch that angle. So I'm just going to show you what I look like here. Ah, like that. All right. So the beginning's not going to look good because that was the beginning of where I was spacing. Remember, I set up the loop, and I said, ooh, it's colored. That's what that is there. So we're just going to skip right over that. Who cares? That, that could be an elite even. It's probably going to get cut off anyway. So I'm going to put my drill on slow for a second. And I'm going to skip right over that. And I'm going to try to go into this wire as straight as possible. You don't want to go in on an angle because you're going to skip spaces or something. You don't want to do that. As soon as you start, you want to be as straight as possible. And it will literally fuse itself. This may look like it's hard, but it's not. It's almost as easy as doing a clap thing if your spacing is good. Whoa, my bad. Just got real hairy. Christina, there is no decor going on. Uh, but the core is the core is 26, 26, 36. I guess you meant to say the core. Yeah, 26 gauge. And what's up, Christina?
All right, so now I'm going to try to fly through this, and you can kind of see what that looks like here. You can watch here too, Eric. Well, whatever. If you want to watch the replay, you can do that. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're having a good week. All right, you see I'm holding the spool low. It's down here. Just to give you an idea, I'm just straight with this. So I bring it down here. I'm going to put my drill on fast. Hopefully my spacing is good. couple mistakes in there. I don't know if it's because of spacing or not. I'll show you what the mistakes look like. I was hoping that didn't happen. Oh yeah, I got bad spacing there. That spacing just isn't good there. So I'm probably going to get mistakes no matter what. That's okay. It gives it character. All right. So now that I'm halfway down this, the swing on this isn't going to be so bad. So I'm going to take that off. Plus, it's going to let it move. going to let the spacing move. Oops. So you see, I got a lot of twists again, and that's because of just how I do stagger fuse claptons. Pull, reverse, and untwist. Easy peasy. And we got a couple of stagger fuse claptons. Cool. All right. Now it's, um, man, let me think of something real quick. I got the half stagger. I got that. Whatever, I guess I'll just do this for now. Yeah. I'll just do this for now. That's fine. Okay. So, um, the RDAs I have today, actually, I need to... Oh, no. Where's the top cap to the troll? So I got the Troll RDA without the cap. Where did I put the cap? I just washed everything. Did I hit an open here or something? All right, well, I don't have the cap right now. Oh, but I 
No, I gave it to Loom, didn't I? I did. The Troll RDA deck. I drilled this out for sure because them holes are huge and they're almost. Look at the side here. It's like almost nothing. All right, so we're going to install the dual coil stagger fuse Claptons in that. Here's the top, top piece of the troll. It was copper. It looked like shit. I have one second. Now, I actually forget this company's name. I want to say it's Hanya or Hannah. It's either Hanya or Hannah. This is the Hyon. No, the, ha the Hanya. The Hanya RDA from Blitz Enterprises. Blitz Enterprises, Hanya. Hanya? Hanya? Obi-Wan? I think that's the name. So this was one of the first postless decks, all right? I love this deck. This is actually like a true postless deck. Like a true postless deck. I love this deck. I don't like that the insulator gets burnt, but I love this deck by Blitz Enterprises. All right, and this is what the top cap looks like. It had a little devil head. Boom. And then I have a K fun. So this is quite like Toonies K fun. But this was mass produced. This is by Five to Eight Customs, who make the goon. This is what they used to make before they started making goons. And this is a K fun. Now the tank I have right now is all cracked, but that's okay. I could still show you what it looks like at the end of the day. All right. So at the end of the day, when all is said and done, you put your build in there, you wick it, you put your glass on there, or your plastic that cracks from like lemon juices or cereals that's how that cracked it didn't crack from me stepping on it or anything it cracked from citrusy juices that's what citrus juices used to do to plastic tanks and then you put this on there and this was by five to a customs you could see the and this is a lot like a 2d k a toony k fun and i just washed it so it's a little gargly but once you put juice in there, it's also a little gargly. All right, so this is a K-Fun, and I'm going to show you a K-Fun deck, and we'll put one of these coils in there, because I promised that. We got 81 people. Of course, we're going to see some trolls. How come Gold Star is still here? That's what I want to know. You also can't argue with ignorance. You can't argue with ignorance, Gold Star. He just came to argue. Okay. Let's do the the Hanya, the Hanya, the Han, yeah, Hanya, 
Hanya. The Hanya Postless first. Now, the only gripe about this was the screws, man. They, they stripped out really easy. Other than that, I fucking love this thing. Um, let's do something cool in it. Oh, nothing cool. Not anything that's going to take a short amount of time anyway. I don't even know. What was I going to do? I know what I can do. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take... I have two, two five millimeter bits. I have two of them. All right. I have two of these. I'm going to take this coil and I'm going to wrap it around both. I usually like to tape these bits together. But I did not do that. Maybe I should because this is a husky wire. This is one husky wire. This 2432. I probably should have taped these bits together. It's not too late. I got some electrical tape. Damn, brain spanking new roll. Yeah, so 7 p.m. and um, 7 p.m. Tuesday, 7 p.m. Saturdays, but I do try to do UK time shows once in a while because there are a lot of people from overseas that are actually in the chat right now. Okay. So I tape these bits together. Now. Because of the recoil, after I take these bits out, it's not going to stay oval. Like you would think that it just stays like an oval build because it's two bits. But it's not. It's going to recoil and it's going to make a knuckle build. Okay. So I wrapped it around them bits. Now I'm going to take that tape off. And it's going to do the recoil. And it's going to do that knuckle build. All right. I'm just going to get my leads pointed down. I'm going to check here and see where it's going to have to go. Oh, this is a big wire for in here. Holy shit. I didn't realize how big this wire actually was. It almost doesn't fit.
I'm not sure if anybody else's daughter is louder than mine. I don't think so. I don't know if these guys could hear her. You just quit your job so you can watch Nick full time. <laughs> That's what people in the UK do. Just quit your job. You watch me full time. Oh, snap. See, these screws were always bad. Since, since day one with this RDA, I had problems with these screws. And everything else about this RDA, I fucking love. I loved how it vaped. I love that it's a postless deck. I loved how it looked. It was very cheap. It's like 35 bucks. Blitz Enterprises, I believe, is Advkin. I believe. <laughs> Kelly Bell, thank you. <laughs> Definitely the loudest ever. Ever in the world. Took took the fucking cake. First prize and big mouth parade. All right. That's not tightening down. I'm going to have to deal with that later. I am not fucking around with that. Let's do the two stagger fuse clappings. I'm going to find the middle and cut. And we're going to put these in the troll. Hopefully the troll will take them. Now I'm going to actually show you how to wrap coils this time. So I'm going to get, I love three millimeter bits. I don't use the spool tamers. Yeah, I don't like the spool tamers. I mean, they're all right, but I don't use them all the time. Best bet is whatever build you want to do, Pat, is look it up. Um, just type it in to YouTube, and my videos will come up. I've done every build. For the most part, they're labeled. I'm going to do a five wrap. All right. So I like doing this. If you want to make sure you're wrapping them real nice, you use my needle noses as like a vise. Put the bit underneath of it. Actually, I don't like the sight of that. So I'm going to flip it around. Okay, got them two coils. You can see the mistakes I put in my leads. I don't think there's any other mistakes in them, not sure. Now with the troll, it's just a basic four post. It's just like the Twisted Mess is really. It's actually the troll was Wotafo. Wotafo. And it was their answer for the Mutation X. It was basically a Mutation X clone. But they just named it the troll. Because everybody said, fuck Wotafo. It's a clone company. So they said, okay, we'll be the troll. So they named the RDA the troll, which I think is actually super clever. And now look at Wotafo now. 
it's funny how everybody hated clones so much, but now <laughs> the clone company turned into a legit company that probably still makes clones under a different name, but whatever. I'm not going to get into that. But if you think about the irony and what's going on, it's actually pretty funny. So I do like to bend my leads for install into the troll. These screws are super old and I've seen so many builds. I used to love building in the troll because it was pretty big for its time. It was one of the bigger RDAs. It came out a little bit before the Twisted Messes one. So it was still one of the bigger decks out at the time. And as soon as I seen it, it was $25. Um, that's retail. Like in a brick and mortar, you have 25 bucks, you could get a troll. Which was super fucking awesome because shit was so expensive. I mean, even the Mutation X was like $55 at first. And then they came out with cheaper ones. So maybe I'll cut these other leads. And there's a picture of an emoji troll or the internet troll on the top cap. The only thing is my top cap is so busted because it's copper. Okay, they need to be a little prettier. Let's get them centered a bit. We'll squeeze them all together also. Let's see how they look now. I haven't used the Jenna. I would like to try it, though. Um, even the 502 is pretty interesting to me. The Jenna looks pretty cool, though. But it's expe I, I can't spend money like that on shit like that. That's like high-end price. It's like what? Is it two something? No, I can't do it. Circumstance, what's up? All right. Let's do the cave hunt. We're going to need a Kim Dixon stand for this. Okay. So I'm going to show you, because not a lot of people know what a cave phone is. Cave phones are single coils. All right. They're single coil, um, rebuildable R RBAs, I guess they were called. They were tanks. There were single coil tanks. As you could see, there's no holes. No holes in this. You had to trap it under the screws. Okay. And I'm already regretting this decision. 250? This was $90 when it came out, this uh, goon monster. It was a little, I think I had to buy the kit with it. I had to buy like the the um, chuff kit. Yeah, that's what this is. This is the chuff kit. I spent like $25 on and it cracked. Ridiculous. This cracked because of juice. Isn't that crazy? It still holds juice. It leaks a little bit because of the seams, but... It's much like a Toonie k fun because they were also a company that would modify k funds. Everybody loved k funds, but they also liked to modify them. They used to like to drill out the holes. You know, k funds holes were very small. Yeah, it was the 528 Customs. All right. 
So what I want to do is I want to get these leads up. Now, you can't really do a three millimeter coil in here. You can, but it's going to cause you a lot of problems. All right. So you would bring these leads up. Now, putting a fuse clapton in here is kind of stupid, but it's definitely possible. I may be regretting this decision as I start doing it, but actually Addy Tooney showed me a trick years ago to install wires that have dual cores into a K-Fun. So I definitely want to get a 2.5 bit for this. I do not want to use a 3 millimeter. So let me get my 2.5 bit. Which cheeks? Um, didn't Jay just put up a bunch of other Jennas though? I, I could have swore I just seen a message from Jay Hayes that more Jennas were available. Maybe they're all bought out already. So I'm going to wrap this. And I guess. I don't know. Is a five wrap going to work? Hmm. No. I think I'm going to have to do a four wrap. Which kind of sucks. I didn't really want to do a four wrap. That's why I was thinking earlier, do I do 26 gauge? Or what? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Four rep, that's fine. It's a single coil. Okay. Which this probably wouldn't even be a good build to vape into a K-Fun, but it don't matter. So, what you would do... Is this will focus better. Is just trap the leads right under the screws, but you could see my leads are pretty big, so it's gonna be hard to do, but that's exactly what you would do. You would trap it. You would get it under there, and the screw would just grab it. Now this would be better for round wire, because you could also just hook the round wire in there and it's not focusing again. You could just put a hook on it. You could go like this, wrap it around and put a hook into it. But what Addy Tooney showed me was genius. It was so genius. With a dual core and a K-Fun, I would cut this down. Well, he would cut this down. All right. Actually, when he sent me my K-Fun, it had a fuse Clapton type of wire in there. And then you would take the Clapton off of the end Like so. You could cut the Clapton off of there and then spread them. All right. Man, the focus is really bad. I'm sorry. And then you would put that onto the screw like this. And twist them together or just close them together and then put the screw down. All right. Now you would have to do this to both sides, of course. And I might not have took off enough Clapton on that side. So all I have to do is pull them this way a bit. Cut him down like this. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side, but make sure I take off enough Clapton this time. A 
So if you could get your hands on a K fund for cheap, I would definitely pick it up. K funds used to be $120. And actually, it's probably really hard to find one these days. But there are clones like the Limo, um, stuff like that. Tony, Addy Tony buys K fund clones to modify. So, just a thought. Yep, the only dumb question is the one not asked. That is right. That is the truth. All right, see how it's in there? I didn't even screw the screws down, but you'll see how it's holding on there already. You got to get up close and personal with a K fund, man. These used to be the most rebuild it things in vape shops. If you bought a K fund, chances are you didn't build it the right way the first time. They were extremely hard to build in wick, but once you got them built in wick the right way, whoo, buddy, whoo, buddy, you only need it like 30 watts and you were fucking. Oh, buddy. You were good. Let's just say you were good. Now, Addy doesn't sell K phones. No. He modifies them and gives them out sometimes. That's what I just showed you. He drills them out. He drills out the insides and colors them up. This is an Addy Tooney K fund, but he only gives them away. He doesn't sell them. He, he like don't even ask. He doesn't sell them. He um, only gives them away to like special people or for like um, good fundraisers, stuff like that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so since I have time, I want to fix that knuckle build because it is not screwed down. And I don't know what's the deal with knuckle builds. Is it a knuckle? Is it a build? I don't know. I fucking love Seinfeld, dude. I haven't watched it in such a long time, but even when I was a kid... I love Seinfeld. What's the deal with peanuts? Is it a pea? Is it a nut? I don't know. Yeah, the in crowd and the cool kids. Maybe I'll ask Addy if I can get one for the Patreon. Maybe if we um, donate money to a good cause. I could get one for the Patreon. <laughs> Thanks, Circumstance Vapes. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, this screw does not want to grab this belt. Maybe because it's not twisted. Oh, it's probably because it's short as fuck. That's probably why. I should probably do a four wrap.
Oh yeah, you got a 502, huh? The 502 is pretty interesting looking. I probably wouldn't vape it every day, but it's definitely interesting looking. I watched his video on it with the clone. And um, I liked what I seen. I don't like vertical coils, but that's that's a very cool idea to have it come out the top. There you go. Yeah, boy. Oh, let's get the ohms on these bitches. I had to put it down to a four wrap, though. It's a big four wrap, though. Oh, we'll color this one. I wanted to show you something with that parallel build. We're going to color this bitch. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah, motherfucker. Let me get a mod to fire shit on. There it is. No, it's not. <laughs> I just got real excited. I thought I found the troll cup. Cup. I thought I found the troll cup. Yeah, I think I'm going to get the bulks to review. And give away, actually. It's it's an awesome price. I might buy a couple of them. Okay, so let's color this up first. I'll tell you the ohms. So this was six gauge stainless steel. 26 gauge stainless steel. It was 32 nichrome and 36 stainless steel. So it's a mostly stainless steel build. The parallel Clapton. And it's ohming at 0.13, which is super low for a K-Fun build. You want a K-Fun build at like 0 0.23, 0 0.34. But I just want to color it real quick. Or color some of it. Okay, let's see. All right, Perry. And I didn't say what's up to you. What's up, Perry? And goodbye, Perry. So because it's two different alloys, it's going to color up in stripes on sec. Let me get some more color on that.
Okay, so that was a point one three. Oh, I could have tightened that down more in the beginning. No wonder why I got hot spots. That's way better. Get that stripe action. Now, what are the ohms? So this next build in the post list, that knuckle build, is a four app around two, 2.5s. And it is all nichrome, 224s, 32, all nichrome. And it ohms out to a 0 0.10. Wow. That is a low single coil, 0 0.10 single. 0 0.10 for the half stagger. Wow. It's a very low single coil. Okay. Now the troll with the stagger fuse claptons. All stainless steel. 226 and 36 outside. All stainless steel 26, 36. The ohms are 0 0.12. 0 0.12 ohms. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We did a good job tonight, everybody. Got done just in time, too. Look at that. I could even answer some questions if you got. Thank you. Yes, so the Patreon is up. Um, um, Bert Humperdick. Dink. Geeks. Kelly... Bellend. Okay. So, um, Patreon is up. I will start putting the link in my description, but it is n.divine83, just like everything else. Instagram, YouTube, Patreon, all the same. I am not going to keep talking about patreon i'll say it once a video and that's about it so um that's just how i'm gonna do it i was right the first time big g humper dick but thank you Celine, for putting that out um the launch of patreon was awesome man i appreciate everybody that that went on there um it's awesome it's awesome I just got to fill out a couple things to um, start receiving that money, but I wanted to save it up anyway, see what we got for the first month, and then get stuff so that we could um, start moving with it. Yeah, actually, can I put that? Actually, you just grab the link. It's so hard for me to get a link on the cell phone. Thank you, Glenn. So, other than that, if you have any questions about the build tonight, or whatever, we got five minutes to kill. Um, I will have another pre-recorded, at least one pre-recorded out this week. I am going to try to start killing it. Tall Guy Vapes, what's up? I'm going to show you guys how you get a lot of subscribers on YouTube in a short amount of time. I will show you. Uh 
and I have a bunch of ideas for content in a boot camp post. Okay, Big G. I don't have my phone right now, but I'm vaping um, a couple things. What am I vaping this week? I am vaping. Where's my latest one right here? So, oh, coil class for your builds. If you want to build along, do these builds. Do these builds. Hashtag coil class on Instagram. Get in on that giveaway. This is the last week. So this week on Coffee Talk, I'm going to go through these, tell you who's in the giveaway. We'll do the giveaway this week, and then I'm going to give a, um, like a little build-off we'll do. All right? Like we did last time with the uh, title wire. So what am I vaping this week? I am, what kind of ridiculous build would you suggest for the Colorado? I just ordered, man, the Colorado, I don't know, man. The Colorado, I would just put a bunch of little coils in there. I would do like fucking 52 aliens. 52 aliens I would do in there. I would do, seriously, 12 aliens that are 30 gauge 40 gauge aliens 30 40 30 gauge cores 40 gauge outside wrap and i would do 12 of them at six wraps there's the gofundme for kind ground a percentage of patreon this month is going to that kind ground gofundme too the first month of Patreon. We're going to do a percentage to Kind Ground. I already talked to it with the patrons. <laughs> Actually, we might do something to raise more money on that money. We might use that money to get something to raffle off is what we might do. I don't know what that is, Tall Guy Vapes. Um, Eddie, yeah, you told me that. <laughs> Eddie, you're really trying to sell me on that Asgard, huh, man? God damn. I'll look into it. I'll look into it. <laughs> He's hitting me up all over. If I go on Fresh's show, you might ask me again. The Council of Vapor are... I don't know that one. I don't know that one. The Council of Vapor RST. Rebuildable tank like the Smock RBS. Twenty six gauge fuse Claptons would be good in there. Should have a contest for building something and then auction off the winner. What do you mean, Sin? Like, um, like coils, building coils and auction them off? That might be a good idea. They have the Game of Thrones ones there at Walmart. I have Jon Snow. Jon Snow's right there. I, Dude, I should have bought when I seen it, man. M. Gunther, I'm going to need at least 10,000 subscribers. I think even more. 
I don't want to do an RDA until I have more, a bigger following. I don't have a big enough following to do it. Plus, I want to do it my way. And there's just a bunch of other reasons why. But basically, I'd want a bigger following because I would only do one. Yeah. See, Justin, they had the Ice Dragon with John, with, um, with the guy on top, with the Night King on top. And I didn't buy it when I seen it at which we call it. And I should have bought it. Does it have the Night King on top? Yeah, M. Gunther, I think so. Later on down the line, I think so. But I would have to have a bigger following. I don't want to put out something and then just not have a bigger. Like, that stuff can help your following. But I wouldn't want to put a whole bunch of time into something and it not even get passed around like that because I'm, you know, Twisted Mess has had like 25,000 followers on Instagram and 25,000 subscribers on YouTube before he even put out an RDA. That's just not, I couldn't do it when I was still a small, small channel. Plus, it's not really until recently where I had ideas. I never really had an idea for a new thing. But I started to think of a couple things. The ocula being the same as the golems, it's probably a little better, man. It's probably a little better. I don't know. It's a good comparison. It's very close. Very, very close. And they're probably the same. Yeah. Probably the same. I'd say the I'd say the golem's a little more airy. The golem's a little more airy. <clears throat> But yeah, I'm out of here. I got to go eat dinner, everybody. Um, this is what I'm vaping. Sinful apple roll from a door e-liquid. All right. On the Ardent, on the Lux, Ardent video will be out this week. Um, St. Mon Ocula with a consequence from a door e-liquid, Purple Army. And the OG goon on the TS with um, Mr. Burgundy's toasted. And I'm fucking loving this juice. Um, go over to Adore E-Liquid. Use the coupon code. Use guys. Y-O-U-Z-G-U-Y-Z -Y -Z for 10% off at all times. Um... You can't stop the YouTube Game of Thrones. What's up, Black Cat, White Face? But I am out of here. Everybody, have a good night. Thanks for watching. Big show tonight, man. We had 80 people, 82 at one point. What? Everybody, have a good night. Thank you. And I will see you on the next live. But there will be pre recordings Oh, there will be pre recordings Probably upload it tomorrow. Um. Mm. I don't think I'll get it done tonight, so it'll probably...